Hello my beautiful besties. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm Reagan and today I'm literally so excited. I cannot contain my excitement because in this week's video we're going to be reading hockey romances for a week and I just went to my very first hockey game ever a few weeks ago. Fell in love with it then proceeded to research every hockey romance available and I narrowed it down to three options that I want to pick for this week's video. Hopefully I can get to all three because they are pretty lengthy but I really Really think that we can do it so we'll see what happens but the first book I actually started reading last night and that is Mile High by Liz Tom Ford don't really know much about it just getting into it but I just started it last night and I'm already 25% of the way in and absolutely loving it it's so much fun and I think I really am enjoying the hockey romance subgenre that is the first one the second one that I want to try and read this week is Icebreaker by Hannah Grace because one I own it physical two this cover is everything I could want this is the cutest thing I've literally ever seen and all I know about this is that she is a figure skater and he is a hockey player that's kind of all I want to know I want to go into it blind but it looks absolutely so precious and I can't wait to get into this one the last one that I want to really try and get to is consider me by Becca Mack I know nothing about the premise of this I just know that it's a hockey romance and I keep seeing it all over bookstagram so I really want to try and get to that book this week I really think that we can do it but we'll see if not it's okay but that is the TBR for this video I really hope that you guys enjoy this week's video and thank you so much for being here so I will update you when I get farther into mile high and that is about it from me right now I will talk to you when I talk talk to you. Peace, love. Okay guys, I am 50% into Mile High and it is so, so good. It's about Stevie and Xanders. Xanders is a professional hockey player and Stevie is the flight attendant for the hockey team while they're like going around playing all their games and the tension is incredible. First of all, Xanders, I just already know, is going to become one of my new book boyfriends and I have to add him to the list because I love Xander so much. He's so sweet. Even though like he's known for being a bad boy, he's so sweet on the inside and like therapy is such a big part of this book with Xanders and I absolutely love that. I love when the male main character or like the male love interests isn't afraid to go to therapy. Like I said, loving it, but I'm about to go to a coffee shop and get some work done and read a little bit more of mile high so let's just go on to the coffee shop and get some work done Mwah. see you guys there <laughs> Wednesday and I finished Mile High. I, it was so, so good. I would seriously give it a five stars, but it was a little too long for my liking. This was like a 500 page romance and sometimes I really felt like they could have like cut some stuff out and it would have been fine. But other than that, absolutely loved it. Xander's is like the perfect book boyfriend. I love him so much. And I also really liked Stevie. She was a very real female main character and she didn't annoy me. <laughs> she dealt with body image issues but you just like see her character development through the end and like how confident she is and I absolutely love seeing that. There was also some family drama which I feel like is a crucial part of relationships. Like it can definitely get in the way so I thought that was also a very real aspect of their relationship. We just see so much character growth and development throughout the story so I really did appreciate that. I will be picking up the next book even though it's not a hockey romance. I will be picking up. Anyways, I loved Liz Tom Ford's writing. Um, like I said, it did get a little bit cringy in parts so I think I'm going to rate it 4.5 stars which is still very high for me. I'm like very picky on 5 stars and so 4.5 is a really really good rating. I highly recommend it. I will say that this book is pretty spicy so I know that some of you guys enjoy the spice and some of you guys don't so just 
keep that in mind going in. I kind of like looked over it and just really enjoyed the storyline and enjoyed the characters. So that's what made it a 4.5 for me. It was just absolutely fantastic. Would honestly recommend it to any of you guys that are wanting to read a hockey romance or haven't read any of Liz Tom Ford's writing before. I definitely recommend this one. It was so, so fantastic. I also started Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. I am genuinely only like 30 pages in, so I don't know much, but started this one. Can't wait to get into it. We're starting off strong with a 4.5 star, so I hope that this one will be a really good follow-up, and I will update you guys once I know a little bit more, and I will catch you when I know more. Yay! halfway through Icebreaker by Hannah Grace and I kind of wanted to like update you because now I obviously know more of like what's going on in the storyline and what's happening and I will keep it spoiler free of course but this is about Stassi and she is a figure skater in college Nate who is our hockey player in college and something happens they end up having to share a rink so their hockey team and her and her figure skating partner have to share the rink and it's like within weeks of competition and they're all stressed and all that fun stuff so that's kind of what we're getting here so it is kind of like frenemies to lovers I would say because Stassi and Nate are like kind of becoming friends but like they still she still hates him in other words it's basically a reverse grumpy sunshine because Stassi is just like so grumpy and so negative and just like doesn't want to be there doesn't want to talk to Nate and Nate is like golden retriever energy boy and he is just the sweetest boy on the planet just really wants to help Stassi out and like be her best friend so they have an attraction for each other but she does not want to be in a relationship with him or anything like that and he just like finds her to be like the most beautiful girl in the world which we love to see it it is very fun because it is a college romance like a college hockey romance so I do really love that but sometimes like some of their language can be kind of cringe. I think Hannah Grace was really funny as an author. Stassi she's not my favorite girl main character but that's okay. <laughs> I am hoping that like by the end we'll see what she's up to and if she's like had any character growth. I guess I will update you guys probably when I finish. Love you! So, popping in because I have a few different thoughts. <laughs> One, Aaron, Stassi's skating partner. I can't stand him. <laughs> like, he is so insufferable and I just like don't like reading whenever he's like in the scene. And also this book was immediate spice. Like 10 pages in and we're already like getting spicy and I was like not prepared for that because I usually like for my romance books to be a slow burn a little bit. I love the pining. I love the tension. All of that stuff before the couple gets together. And anyways, the spicy scenes are written very cringy sometimes. Like I'm very picky about how books like this are written. And this is just like not 100% my tea. But I'm still really enjoying the storyline and like I want to see where it goes. I just had to throw those little updates in there. Those are just kind of a few of the things that have bothered me recently. Okay. That's it. Um, I just finished Icebreaker and I hated it. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying that because I know so many of you guys love this book. It was not for me and that's okay. It is what it is. No hard feelings. It's okay. Let's talk about it though because these spicy scenes were not for me. I just didn't like how they were written. Nate was like the saving grace in this book because he was really sweet. Like I really did like Nate. Stassi didn't like her. Aaron did not like him. And so it was just like feeling kind of bland, which I hate to say. You guys, I wanted to like this book so bad. It was a fun time, but I'm like leaning towards 2.5 to 3 star. It was also way too long. I think that this book could have been like 100 pages shorter and been fine. This book is also no plot just vibes and you have to really like the characters I think in order to like this book and some of the characters just fell flat for me so I think that that's why this one just didn't hit as hard for me as I know that it has for some other people and I feel really bad for giving it a low rating. That's okay. I had fun reading it with you guys just like wasn't my cup of tea and that's totally fine. Not my favorite romance but also like not my worst romance either so it's just kind of very mediocre. Okay it's now 10 p.m. I'm just gonna call it a night and go to bed. I'm not even gonna read Consider Me by Becca Mack because Icebreaker just really did it for me. But 
I have only been thinking about Mile High since I read it. So if you take nothing else from this video, please go read Mile High. It is absolutely fantastic. I'm still thinking about it. So go read that. I will hopefully read Consider Me one day because I actually really do want to read that book, just not in this video. I hope that you guys enjoy this week's video. I had so much fun reading hockey romances with you guys. As always, my socials are all linked down below and you can always go follow me on there. Let's be friends. I would love that. Comment down below a snowflake emoji if you guys have made it this far into the video and you want to let me know and I will catch you in the next video. Mwah. Love ya!